in 15 minutes, I'm going to show you three ways as a resident you can enjoy San Diego museums. And if you aren't, that's okay because I'm going to show you two different ways that you can experience them. Okay, this is going to be our agenda for the day. I'm Jen, your travel friend with Staycays and Getaways, and I am a San Diego native, a pet mom, and I'm married and a museum lover. My passion is to help you expand your time and money by giving you the know before you go. So let's begin with that. There are three ways to get into San Diego museums. One is the San Diego Museum Cancel dot, dot org. These are the sites that is government funded by the San Diego County for San Diego residents. But I want to let you know that the San Diego Museum Council, they have a list for things that are free. The second below that, so San Diego Museum Council tells everyone, like everything. So it includes the Balboa Park Free Residence Tuesdays and the Discover and Go. I actually want to show you that page now. If you go to this page, then you have access to this information. These are the participating museums on the Blue Star, which are um, for not uh, for the military. So if you happen to be military in San Diego, which San Diego is a huge military hub, please use this. Then if you aren't in the military, but they are free year round, so eat, tourists can use this as well. So this is one of the ways that I am going to teach you. So instead of bringing it to the end, I'm actually bringing it to the beginning. So you're lucky. If you look at these museums, these are the ones that you are able to go to. I would first map them out by area. The other way is going to be Balboa Parks Free Residence Tuesdays. You will need ID for this. The only one that I know of that doesn't really care on their Tuesday is the San Diego Natural History, um, Natural History Museum. Make sure what they do and do not allow is like just know that they don't allow the extras it's just the admission but not to like the movies or the extra exhibits the last way is the discover and go through the san diego county city library let me disclose there is a difference between the county and the city this one is through the city please check out my other video link is below in the description on how to act the difference between the San Diego library and then the county library so those are the one of the three ways okay. when you're using these sites the main things I want to really talk about is that through discovering go it's scheduled. Everything that you're going to be doing, you should plan out. And it is safe to say that this is often said, if you, what is the quote? If you prepare to, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And this is the case with having fun. If you're trying to put the funds back in your fund, it is important to plan out your days. And when it comes to these free days, you do have to schedule them. With Discover and Go, you can choose days throughout the week and even the weekends, but you do have to schedule them and you only get a certain amount of times that you can go to this museum. It's either one or two. If you miss it, you lose it. Balboa Park Tuesdays happens every Tuesday, but each week is different. If you are a tourist or even a resident, it is best to have a vehicle to get to these places accessing the trolley and stuff it's and the bus it's gonna take you a while to get there because of San Diego traffic and such and the distance it takes to get there so I don't recommend you using public transportation if you can I also don't recommend recommend uber if you are to use a car transport service 
we noticed that Lyft is like half price. So check the prices of both apps or different car sharing apps before you use them because they can run you a pretty penny. Also be prepared to walk. When you're at these places, you're in the vicinity of hot spots of San Diego and there's definitely going to be things to do in that area. So if you are trying to do these things, make sure that you have play money and that's the reason for this channel is that I don't want you to spend on the entrances to things that you can get for free, but spend it on the things that you can't like food, items and souvenirs for friends and family. Okay, I know I said this was gonna be at the end, but the best way for tourists to actually access these places is obviously if you know someone or you lived here previously, if your parents lived here or whatever, or you lived here and you have access to a San Diego library card, please use that. Like. You just used your i you just use your ID so I know it's not like really hard to get and it's not something that like if you move you could still have access to that and you can just have it online and just check it and book it and then use it to go. The second way is to check that council site because just use the free stuff. Okay. In this recap, I'm actually going to show you how to use these sites. So we're going to use the Balboa Park Free Residence Tuesdays. And we're going to go here. And this is how you access which Tuesdays are free. Okay, so that's the first way. For the Discover and Go, what you're going to do is go to the site. And again, it's through the San Diego Public Library card, and I'm already assuming that you have a library card. If you do not, please click my video on how to get a library card for the Discover and Go so you can do this. You're gonna get your pass, you're gonna log in. Okay, these are the things that you can access via Discover and Go and you can get more than one person in. So that's what I really want to stress here is that this one you have to reserve and you have to pick a day and then on the Balboa Park Free Residence Tuesdays is specific Tuesdays. So every Tuesday is different. This one you have to schedule. This whole thing is planning your day out so you could have the most time to have fun. Make sure you check on how you're gonna get there, how you, if you need to pay for parking for the Children's Museum, if you go to downtown San Diego, the best time to do it would be Sundays because the parking is free versus if you do it any other day of the week, you will be paying parking on the regular time and parking is from like, I believe 7 a.m. to like 8 p.m. and that's bunk or 6 p.m. or something like that. And how long you're gonna stay there if you're gonna stay there for a long time make sure you plan out the whole day make sure you bring food money things like that because if you're not paying for entry you should have some money for food and souvenirs tips tricks and checklists um, make sure that again you're planning this is making sure that you have everything ready to go Two, if you don't want to spend food on money most of the places that you're going to are hotspot places that you can picnic at. If you're going to the Children's Museum using Discover and Go like I did, picnic at Seaport Village. If you're going to Balboa Park, plenty of museums on Tuesdays, picnic. If you are going to Coronado Beach, picnic. I'm just saying, pack your own food if you got it. They let you bring it in, keep it in your car or whatever. Put a nice pack in it, bring that. Pack. Make sure you have a checklist and go to my website at www.staycaysandgetaways.com to get my picnic checklist. And I will actually have a checklist for this for a quick Balboa, uh, Balboa Park Discover and Go checklist. Okay, five minutes left. 
on that checklist, make sure you put the date in your calendar because if you're using Discover and Go, you're gonna it's a use it or lose it. Or if it's Balboa Park Tuesdays in that specific museum you wanted to go to, you're gonna have to wait a whole month for it if you miss that Tuesday. Two, communicate. If you're going with people, make sure they know. Make sure you know what time you're gonna meet, where you're gonna meet at, which museum. It's either Balboa Park, downtown, Coronado, La Jolla, where have you. Make sure you guys coordinate. Three, use your checklist that you get from staycationgetaways.com to make sure you pack all the right stuff. Make sure you screenshotted your discover and go little screenshot and make sure that you have all of that information packed and ready to go so when you show up you can just flash your stuff and you can walk on in and here are some bonuses because you guys made it to end comment comment san diego bonus if you made it to the end of this video if you go to my instagram at state case and getaways <clears throat> You will be able to see the on some of my posts of all the museums that are open that week of Tuesdays. In addition to that, use the Forever Balboa. They tell you what goes on every single week and that's how I stay in the know as a San Diego resident for most things Balboa Park and it's more than just the museums. It's their their spotlight spotlight organ pavilion at night stuff there's yoga things like that they're not always free but there's always a good chance to find free stuff there use the free tram system if you park far away over by the veteran the veterans museum and such use their train their tram system i never used it until the first time i used it was like um probably a month ago and it's awesome just to get the like a whole view of Balboa Park. Another thing I'd like to mention is December nights. December nights is coming up and that is where in the beginning of December they put on a whole spectacle and most of the museums are free at night and some of them allow dogs. Last time we took Taffy into the automotive museum. Okay, last but not least, you can check out my YouTube where on my YouTube I talk about things like this and you probably found it here, but if you found this on my website, check out my YouTube. Okay, two minutes left, two minutes left. I just want to really, really thank you for contributing by watching this video. Because of you watching this video, you're putting it into your algorithm that this is the stuff you like. And if this is the stuff you like, please like this video and comment. If you have any questions, if you want to let me know on what worked and didn't work for you, please let me know because I live here. I don't really know what um, challenges some tourists have or even some other San Diego residents may have. But I will really want to help you out. And if, you, if this channel is something that you're into, please subscribe because I'm at the end of my time and I just really appreciate you. I want to wish you guys peace and love, pals. I will see you guys in the next video.